<clears throat> All right. Welcome back, guys. BHB Engines. Uh, I know I've been taking a long break. That's explained in a news video. If you guys want to know a little bit more about what's going on and what's been going on, I'll watch that. Um, so, coming back to hopefully somewhat completing the short block. Well, I mean, somewhat completing, I mean, like, rotating assembly back in place. And then, uh, maybe oil pan. So, I got all the uh, pistons off. And... Well, had like a near little scare there uh, when I took them off. I did leave them overnight in uh, the new wash tank. And I cleaned them real good, but you can see the, the, in there they're kind of gunked up a little bit. Uh, shit. You can see they're kind of gunked up a little bit there. Um, so what I did was went to Harbor Freight. I bought a new set of these brushes. Uh, I had a set before, you get them for free with some stuff, but anyway, I had them before, and I, I, I kind of like wore them out and threw away. They are cheap, I think they're like four bucks, if even that, for a set. Actually, it's more like two bucks, which is why I don't mind, you know, buying another set. So anyway, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to polish the crud off the, you know, off of them pistons a little bit here. I'm going to go over with the brush, and I'm going to put them on the A3 rods over there. And get ready for insertion. Okay, so I, I spent a lot more time cleaning the fucking pistons than I thought I was going to. Um, and uh, I lost a lot of daylight. Oh, and the important thing to losing daylight is it being cold as fuck. And my fingers are freezing. They're freezing. But, uh. Put the rubber gloves on underneath my big gloves in an attempt to keep my tips cold or warm, not cold, Jesus, uh, warm. Anyway, uh, for you guys that saw what happened before, I, they were kind of blackened up and shit from a little gunk buildup. But fortunately, unlike the last time I had something like this happen, I was able to catch it like right away and... I was able to restore it back to the way it's supposed to be. But of course the unfortunate thing is that um I lost a lot of time cleaning more than I would have had to had I not fucking did that. Uh anyway, I got everything set up here, about ready to put everything together, assemble everything. I'm just gonna clean up the rods a little bit. A little bit of, I don't know if you can see rust right there. And I'm just going to clean it up real good with a rag. And I'm also going to go over them with my little... Uh, my scuff pad. Uh, which is this right here. Uh, clip everything. Um, and also the bearings. I don't know what you can see. Uh, let me see if I can focus here. Mm -mm. Alright, you see the lines? That's because some shit got caught up in it while I was running and made some grooves. But, uh, that's not something I'm unfamiliar with. I've seen it plenty of times. And I will determine whether I'm going to use them or not after I go over them with this to clean them. But I think the chances are strong that I will be still reusing these bearings. Anyway. Well, I guess I can, I guess I can show you real quick. This is, these are one of those things where I didn't tell people what I was doing when I was on the, on the occasions that I was using, re, reusing bearings. Uh, for the most part, especially if I'm on a boost or whatnot, uh, I do buy new bearings. But even for boosted setups, I've, uh, Use reused bearings before, and um, no problem. As a matter of fact, Blake's car, uh, uh, Blake, Blake got his engine that was supposedly built, and he wanted to, you know, after he got it, he wanted to break down to make sure it was built and uh, have it all checked out. I broke it down, and it had, you know, it had a couple thousand miles on it, but the guy had never boosted. The guy had had the motor built, 
and never threw a turbo when I was running it in a low compression. People do stupid shit. I don't know why you would waste money doing that and not put a turbo. Anyway, as we go over like this. This is this times like this is be one of the times I would say that I'd recommend to use plastic gauge because um plastic gauge will let you know like your wear limits to see if you're still within spec or not. But because I know I'm not taking too much off here, this is more like smoothing out what's already there and polishing it out. Let's see. You can see from what I just did with a quick little pass with my thumb, the difference it makes now. You can see the line in there still. But um the important thing would be if you can catch it with your finger or not. And yes, my nail is coming through here. Come through the glove. And you can't. Clean up the next one. I'm going to get them all wiped down real quick. Uh, Alright, anyway, I'm starting to stretch out here on time. And to keep the shit from getting too bloated, I'm going to cut. And then I'll come back when all the bearings are clean. Alright, so... uh what I did real quick was I went and cleaned out here where the pin goes no, and cleaned out here along where the bearing line goes. Of course, wipe it down and bearing back in. Man, look at there. Hey, not bad, huh? Not bad. All right, so um, after doing this a whole bunch of times, uh, you get to learn, and sometimes it's pretty obvious, but you get to learn uh, what bearings you can reuse and what you can't. Uh, these little K bearings, there's probably this. But I haven't really paid attention. Well, here they are. And not too much difference, a little bigger, but anyway, these K twenty eight three or the K series bearings are a lot different than uh the B and D. The the B and D bearings are bigger and you have like a groove channel in there for oil flow. Anyway, um anyway, like I was saying, you'll you'll learn over time what you can and can't use. Sometimes you'll have some stuff that you think you can't. Like it looks like it's pretty fucked up. Like uh like these. And then you, you give them a quick scuff. You go over them and you realize it's not really as bad as you think. Anyway, um, what you could always do to double check at the end, if you're still a little hesitant about it, but you're, you want to maybe push through with it, is just to get the plastic gauge. Uh, you can get plastic gauge at any auto parts store, but 9.5 out of 10 times, they have it and don't know what the fuck it is. So be prepared to take an Im a picture of the plastic gauge or even better, to search the inventory online for it and get the part number and give it to them. Because I had an argument one time with the fucking supervisor about getting plastic gauge uh, back when I was still using it on every build. Uh, and the guy was telling me, we don't have that. And then finally, somebody else came through and found it for him. So anyway, that's, uh, so if you're, if you're a little nervous about wanting to use something, thinking maybe you're not, it's no good. And you can always uh, plastic gauge. Uh, I'm pretty sure that somewhere along the line of the videos that I've done, that I've done a side-by-side -side comparison with a bearing that can't be saved and one that can. Uh, so I guess you could always search for that because I don't know which one it is. <laughs> you always search for that. Or if not, if you're doing a rebuild and you're doing a budget build and you want to see if your things are, are reusable, your bearings are reusable, and you want some input, send me a picture. You can send me a picture online on Facebook or Instagram or whatnot and show me what you're using and I'll give you my input. Um, all right, so I'm going gonna, gonna to finish what I was doing here before I wrap things up. All right, so <clears throat> on another video, another video that I shot a week ago, I showed you how to take these shits off. But I guess I'll show real quick how I'll put them back on. Um... I don't know if I'm actually going to show the hammer in part because it's going to probably shake the fuck out of the camera. But um, just a quick heads up for you guys don't already know. You, uh, your arrow points to the timing side and IN stands for intake. All right. Now, see these little notches here on the rod. 
always point to the exhaust. So intake, and that'd be your intake side there, and your exhaust side. So you get it in there, and you put the you put the piston pin enough to where you can catch it a little bit. So that way you have a point of reference to so where to beat it. You know it's going to go right through. Um, let's see. Maybe I can do this holding it up. Let me try here. So far, so good. Seems to be working. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show because it just takes a couple quick, firm smacks at this point to get it through. <clears throat> I kind of fucked up before. I didn't really leave myself a lot of space to work. So uh, anyway, it's not all the way through yet. I'll come back when it is. But uh, it gives you a general idea of what you need to do. See real quick. It doesn't take much effort. I just need to plant myself where it's not crowded. Okay. So I hadn't put the uh, I hadn't put the wrist pin back in yet, or the, this sides. But just to show you real quick that we're flush. Uh, you'll hear a little ting when you tap it all the way through, and you get to the wrist pin. So that's how you know when to stop. Plus, uh, you know, I, I didn't hit it too hard. I kind of gentle with it the last little bit cause, just to make sure I didn't fuck it up or damage the pin on the other side. So anyway, <clears throat> we now have... Uh, fuck. <laughs> we now have an A2 piston on an A3 rod. Yep. Um, oh, also note that I did take the bearing back out because you're smacking the fuck out of it. The bearing's going to fall. You don't want to fuck the bearing up any more than what, you, what it already was if you're using something used. Anyway, <clears throat> free play here. Completely fine. Just for people who weren't sure. Uh, apparently, there was a lot of people who didn't realize you could do this little thing. And I think it's a great mod. Yeah, it definitely is a great mod. Just to be able to bump your compression up from a 9.6, I think, to what? 9.6 to 1? To the uh, to the compression that the um, that the A two is, I I don't see how you wouldn't get a fucking twenty thirty horsepower bump out of that. Now yeah, it was some tuning and some injectors and stuff. Um, anyway, uh, let me see here. Putting these uh, wrist or the wrist pins back in the C clips, um, I like to use needle nose and do it like this. Makes it a little bit more of a pain in the ass for the next guy if they ever tear this down again. But I'm tripping. Never mind. You know, there's actually a little bit bent here. Anyway, um, where it sits right now, it's easy enough for me to just shove it in place like that. It's pretty easy. You just want the whole thing is to make sure you, you clip it and go off that hole. So that way you can just slip it back in place. But I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I think you can see. My needle nose are a little bit bent. I just bought a new set of fucking wrench or pliers, but uh, they're on the other table. I'll try to do this pretty quick just to show you guys. Anyway, uh, there's that. And I'm going to assemble the rest of them and uh, probably call it a night. Okay, guys, so uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to call it quits here. Uh, besides the fact that um, my toes are going numb and I can barely feel my fingers, uh, my wife has uh, got called into her little part time thing. For for two and a half hours of work, 
<sighs> and um, I gotta go inside and watch the kids. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, besides the fact that I just realized too, like, also, I don't have any fucking um, oil. My quarter oil I usually keep for breaking, uh, I don't have one anymore. So, um, uh, I got the, uh, this shit done. So, um, the next time we'll be installing rotating assembly. Yeah, because there's nothing else left to do now. Well, except put the piston rings on. And uh, that'll take the time in itself, but no cutting will be needed, so I'll be able to put the rotating assembly together next time. So um, this might just wind up being a three-parter simply because of the fact that I don't think I'm going to do anything to that head. But um, I'll leave that up until the next time I'm working on this to decide. Uh, all right. <laughs> thanks for watching guys um go down to the link to the description below you see links to instagram which i don't use too much but is there and the links to the facebook which you should go to and like the page and follow just that way you can keep up to date with everything uh, and um thanks for watching guys peace